Okay, so let's start our webinar. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Telmo, for those who are not here with us yesterday. Hello to everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for attending, and thank you for all good people at fxstreet.com uh, for giving me the opportunity to uh, speak and teach uh, the method, although my daily commentary above the market. The market. Yesterday uh, we talked about uh, Renko charts, and uh, but um, there there were many questions above, so I will give um, a brief explanation of the yesterday uh, webinar. Um, before that, is important to know the disclaimer. Okay, it's important that uh, any of the the um, the comments on the webinar, they are not a solicitation to invest and should you consider your financial situation as a suitable to your situation prior to making any investment or entering into any transaction. Uh, you should contact your fin independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns, okay? So let's move on. I sorry. Okay, so uh, resuming. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with the uh, wind record chart, there was many questions yesterday rising. Uh, uh, there are platforms like TradeStation or NinjaTrader or MultiCharts that allow at once uh, we choose the the the, the Renko charts. Okay, uh, for those who use the MT4 platform to trade the forex currencies. Uh, there are a script you can download it here. Okay, this is the the, the world. You can download the script, and I will next show you how you you can provide or why you can uh, raise this these charts on the on the MT4 platform. Uh, resuming the Renko style of charting uh, was developed by the Japanese, and um, I like very much the Renko charts because they they that only consider the price movement. Okay, the time is not relevant at all, and the the noise is completely um, reduced from the market. Uh, I will show you next some examples of of this. So this is the rule. Okay, sorry. So let's start. Okay, thank you, Bradley. Okay. Okay, so in order to put the um, Renko chart is clearly simple. You uh, download the um, the script to 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 your computer you put it on your expert advisors on the metatrader 4 platform you use okay then you open and the script appears there okay the expert advisor you then click on file new chart like for instance Euro SD the chart appears okay it's important you have as many uh, history bars as you can okay in order you uh, you have a lot of bars, okay? You can download your history uh, on the MT4 platform, so you can have a lot of bars there. So you then click on Renko Live Chart. Then the following window appear. And this is what is most important, okay? The Renko box size. This is what will define your Renko Chart box size, okay? As I told you yesterday, we use the 21 pips, 34 pips, or 55 pips, okay? Uh, this depends on the market volatility and depends on some pairs. For EURUSD, for instance, I, I, I always use or the 21 pips or the 34 pips. For pairs like, like the British pound, like the um, uh, Swiss franc, I prefer to use higher uh, Iger rank, uh, Iger rank of box size, uh, in order to uh, to give the market space to breathe. Okay, because the pairs are 
are more ranging and not trending, and this can create some some more range areas like I, I'm going to talk later in this in this webinar. Okay, so let's choose here 21. Okay, like zero. In the rank or time frame, I'll put three because I have other open. Okay, this is the um, is the time frame for then you can open your offline chart. Okay, you click on OK. Okay, then on the left side you see rank or life chart 21. Open offline. Okay, to view. You then go to file, open offline, and you have here here OSD M3. Okay. You click on open and you have your Renko chart on your MT4 platform. Okay. This is real time. Okay. Yesterday some questions arrived because the offline appears there, but this is offline. Uh, this is real time chart. Okay. The market is moving here and you can see on the RST chart the market continues to move. Okay. This is an, uh, an emulation because the MT4 platform doesn't allow uh, direct. We choose the, 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 the this type of this type of charts. Okay, MT4 only allows the, the the normal time frame charts. So there are some times you can see some um, false bars. Okay, or some bars didn't close. Okay, because the, the 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 fast movement. What I recommend is at the end of each day you reload the chart. Okay, reload the chart is do the same thing. Okay, do the same thing that we have done in order you have another chart. So this is the chart. I'm going to close because I have here open. Okay, file open of chart. Okay, so uh, any questions regarding the the, um, the creation of the the, the Renko charts on the MT4 platform? Okay, if there is no questions, I will move forward. Okay, let's open here the Euro USD. Okay, default. Okay. In order, uh, or, or better saying, I prefer this type of chart because this completely removes the noise of the market. Okay, 21 pips is the equivalent like um, 30 minutes, one hour uh, bar charts. Okay, you can consider that 30 minutes, one hour bar charts. But instead of one hour, this bar for instance um, this is not is not the best the best option but um one bar is created when the price moves up if you have a blue bar or a up bar the price the, the the bar will only go up if you have here the Renko box size defined okay that is 21 pips okay this is 21 pips, more 21 pips, more 21 pips. The chart will only reverse the bar if you have double, okay? If you have 42 pips in this case. These are 42 pips of the market, okay? You have the, 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 the spike of the bar, but that will not close because didn't reach more 21 pips or the prior the the previous close okay so this is 42 pips okay and if you see let's open here the 30 minute chart if you put one side by side okay if you put here this Side by side, I will put from 22 August. Okay, this this period, this whole period of the euro on the 30 minute chart, is this area here on the Renko chart. Okay, from 22 is 
like from here, okay? Is this time, okay? And what you can see here is clearly on this we have a, on the 30 minutes we have this, then we have a pendant, okay, go up and then market accumulated. On the record chart, you see that from this bottom we have a lower high, okay? This was a retracement and this possible a lower high, okay? But it's clearly uptrend, okay? Market is moving up, so no questions arise here that the trend is clearly up, okay? It's clearly up, okay? So after that, we can consider a change of the trend. I, I always consider a trend, a uh, change of the trend if market goes opposite two to three bars, okay? Here, I can consider a change of the trend, okay? Or a possible change of the trend. If market decide go up from here, like was, okay? What market does? Do a lower hike, okay? Two bars. So what you can interpret from this chart is market is in this range, okay? This is clear market ranging, okay? And it's more clear to see here than identify here, okay? This area is this area, okay? Is this area here on the 30, oh, sorry, on the 30 minute chart, okay? Is this plus here, okay? This area here is this area here, okay? This top is this top on the Renko chart here. What you can see here is clear market is in ranging, okay? We can add another test to this level, okay? Is it one, 125.80 area, okay? But clear, you have a top here, okay? So, so I will only seek for another uh, buy if market goes above this last high, okay? Until that, I'm seeking for shorting the market, okay? And I have my protection here, okay? We have here one, two, three, then testing, and for what I'm thinking, the market can make another down move and test first this level, okay? The 125 area, and then we'll test one, uh, 125, uh, 74 area, okay? So, that's why I prefer this type of charts, okay? This is one example of how you can see if the market is in ranging or trending, okay? Yes, 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 for sure, this is pure price, okay? Less noise. I don't use any type of indicators. I only use the the the, um, the rank of ours, okay, in conjunction with another indicators that I will talk tomorrow, market indicators, to define my entries and exit, okay? So this is a clear example of the situation of the euro now, okay? We have a top, price went down. I can consider this uh, an entering in a, in, a, in a short side, okay, because it goes down two, three bars, okay? A retest to that level, a break of the previous low, okay, now retesting and probably could go retest at 125.80 area or come down, okay, to 124, okay, to test this level here, okay, that was the, was the last retracement and test of the last high, okay. Let's see another example. I can close this. Open the line. Okay. Okay, the Japanese. Let's go here and go see the Japanese yen. Okay. Okay. 
like I told earlier, I seek for two, three bars, okay, in order to put me in a short trend, in this case, or in um, a long trade, in the case of up, okay? In this area, let's give an example, okay? You're short for me, okay? In this level, if you consider to enter long here, okay? Let's take an assumption. We have entered long here, okay? Then, market retrace and go to a lower, okay? If I have reversed my position here, I will only think in going long again if price break this level, okay, here. Oh, sorry. Mm, sorry. If price break this level here. Because most most traders uh, that trade with Renko bars, uh, the purists, says that uh, if market goes up two bars uh, and market goes down two bars, okay, that is a reverse of the trend and a reverse of the trade. In my study, what I see is that it's better we wait a break or the previous high or the previous low in order we define the trend, okay? In this case, we have a up move, Okay, if we consider there a long trade, market goes down here, okay, sorry, market goes down here, okay, go up, go down, and if I have reversed my trade here, I will put my stops above this level, okay, in order to let market breathe, okay, so then I can expect, okay, if you go to that level, okay, market is in ranging. I am expecting the market goes up again from here. Okay, market goes down again, and I can collect my profit on this level. Okay, because I give market to breathe. Okay. If, for instance, the market, let me show you an example of the gaining of amplitude. Like I used to say, a gain of amplitude. Okay, on the how the OSD was a purely gaining of amplitude of the market. Okay, the GBP OSD was the last trade here. So, okay, let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, market was in short trend okay in here uh, uh, when i see um, a strong move like this okay i will always wait for at least three bars to decide okay it's time to go up or it's time to go down okay it's time to go long or it's time to go short in this case the market go test that area okay if I decided to enter long here, the market then went down. Okay. I had my protection because I always wait for the break of the previous level. Okay. In this case of the previous low to put me out of this trade. Okay. Then market goes up again protect me from this gaining of amplitude of the movement, okay? Sorry. Then market went down again, okay? Was testing the break, so I can think in adding more positions at this level, okay, here, retest here, retest here, because market w went to previous break, okay? Then market goes up again, testing the previous level, okay? Made a higher low, okay? This is very important. The higher lows or lower hikes, 
okay? Uh, if you like to trade with price action, these are somehow the golden rules, okay? You want to see on an uptrend higher lows on the market, okay? If you don't see higher lows on the market, you have two choices. Uh, you, we can have two choices. Or market is going down, okay, reversing the trend, or market is going to enter in a range, okay? In this case, from this bottom, we have always higher lows, break, retesting, okay? Higher low here, and go again straight up to that level, okay? In this case, I remember the trade. I was expecting market goals testing this area, okay? I remember this trade. And I was expecting market because it was the last high from the higher movement, okay? Market drops. And then we can expect here, okay? But market went down faster than I could, okay? So we are in an up move here. Okay, we have this. And what we see here, okay? This is a confluence area, okay? What is a confluence? We see a lot of bars up and down, up and down, up and down, okay? Market is losing the momentum here. Clearly, market is losing the momentum, okay? So, what we can expect here, okay? Or a pause of the trend or a purely reverse, okay? This went down two bars, up, okay. At this level, I surely close, uh, sorry. Sorry. At this level, I surely close all my trades, okay, from this up move. If I add losing, if I add uh, more trades here, I will close all here, okay? Because market, was losing the momentum and then reverse back, okay? So, uh, in order to resume, uh, time flies again, <laughs> sorry. Uh, in order to resume, uh, it's important in Renko we see two or three bars in order we decide if market goes in reverse, okay? The trend, the previous trend. If you see these areas, or better, okay, if you see these up and down, up and down, up and down moves, we can, we can define the market as clearly ranging or gaining momentum. In this case, was gaining momentum for the up move, okay, because market was in clear concession, not clear defined trend in here, okay. This is almost two months trading, okay. This is two months trading on the, on the GBP. Okay, on the British pound. So market was gaining momentum up and down the fine fine and then breaks. Okay. Um more okay. In order the market gaining amplitude market gaining amplitude, we need to think in giving space to market, okay? Like it was the case of the USD Japanese yen, okay? If we decide to enter long and then reverse our trade, we need to give space to the market, okay? At least we need to see break above the last pivot, okay? In order we can go long in this case, okay? We give space to market and market went it down, okay? And we can collect our profits there. Okay, uh, tomorrow, um, we will see how to apply the market sentiment indicators in order to help us to define these levels of trading, okay? Um, I personally use market sentiment indicators to define areas like these in order, okay, this is a good spot to short because institutions or banks, okay, are entering here, okay? Are, uh, are entering here or okay, this is my area of stop because above this, there is space for market go up, okay? And with market sentiment, we can see it more clearly uh, and uh, have a huge advantage uh, 
in conjunction with the Renko bar chart. So uh, this is pure price action. Uh, the rules are higher hikes and lower lows in order to see the trend. Um, if market is ranging, okay, we can see clear. Okay, this is a ranging market. Okay, then break down. Okay, then reverse. After that break, okay, you can collect here our profits because it breaks the previous range, okay? Um, so, any questions you may have, you can find us at intuitiontrading.com or contact us at tradingdesk at intuitiontrading.com. Um, we have our web page and in the fxstreet.com too. Um, so, I wait for you tomorrow in order we can see the market sentiment indicators uh, and study them a little bit. So on Thursday, we can combine rank of our charts and market sentiments to defining the, the, to see a better picture of this whole uh, trading system, okay? Thank you very much for your atten or for attending and um, hope this was very good for all of us. Uh, thank you, see you tomorrow.